So I told you, I will take you to the pond tomorrow, but right now. <laughs> Hello and hi, musicvirtuosity.com. Thank you, Ron, for having me. Thank you, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, for paying attention to my video. I know it can be hard sometimes, but I appreciate it. Uh, it is about 3.15 a.m. I'm in my PJs and I drank way too much coffee, so figured I'd do a video for you. Why don't we do a lesson on picking patterns? Actually, I thought about doing that a long time ago, but presenting it to you now. And what I am doing here is a pattern which I like to call 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3. Let me tell you about it. So I'm starting on the E string, the fat E string. Remember, I have a 7 string guitar, so I'm not using this guy right here yet. E string, I'm going to hit one note. A, 3. D1. G3. B1. E3. So that sounds and looks like this. There you are using an economy picking pattern. Meaning that when I'm ascending, no matter where I leave off on a stroke and I'm going to the next string down, ascending, I will go with a down stroke, no matter what. If I am descending and I'm going this way, no matter where I leave off, I'm hitting the next string with an upstroke. That's the idea. I'm gonna play the same pattern again using this economy picking and I will be do doing ascending and descending. Watch. There you have it. And, as you probably have realized, the time signatures on that video are all over the place. Basically, I'm letting my picking patterns dictate the time signature, so I wrote out the guitar parts beforehand and just kind of programmed the drums that you heard to it. And so the main idea, pretty much on the beginning, it's in 11. So 11, 16, 11, 8, however you want to count it, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1. There you go. That would be, I guess, 11, 8. So, that pattern right there, that is a pentatonic pattern. And remember, I have this transcribed for you so that you can see it and don't have to guess what all I'm doing. But I am using pentatonic scales. I'm also using kind of hybrid major minor scales along with lots of modal ideas. And so, this is kind of the, the idea. I'll play through the beginning economy picked weird pattern licks. So looks a little like a this. And so that goes on for a while, and then there's a lot of, uh, there's this riff that's in five, and then four, and then two, all kinds of fun stuff. That whole thing. Then it goes into what I did for a lesson of, and I give this to my students a lot too, it's basically going through every mode, start with um, your Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, all the way through. And I'm doing this on a 7 string, and what I have transcribed for you, it's kind of the same thing, but it's worked out on a 6 string, just in case you don't have a 7 string. A lot of me. But anyway, this looks like this. Instead of doing a 1 on the E string, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3. So 1 on E, 3 on A, 1 on D, 3 on G, 1 on B, 3 on E. I'm doing that whole thing, but with 3 on the B string. So it's 3, 1, 3, 1. Three, one, three. And it looks a little bit like a this. So 
touch it. And once again, those are all modal. That's your major minor scales played modally. And I am kind of picking and choosing my notes in a predetermined pattern. But it, instead of just going up and down your scale patterns, it sounds a little bit more fluent. It's kind of a mixture between scales and arpeggios, really. Yeah, it's kind of neat. It's something. Yeah, at least it's something. So anyways, uh, that's the idea for this. I'm going to leave you with that. And I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Once again, look through the transcriptions. I think they're pretty accurate, although it's really late and my brain's gone all over the place. So anyways, enjoy it, and I will see you pretty soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.